everyone. I'm out here in nature. Such a beautiful day. And I wanted to share it with you. Many people ask me, why do you always go into nature? Why do you talk about nature? And um, my answer is, when you're in nature, it is so easy to meditate. The elements, the water, the sun, the wind, the waves, everything encourages your body to drop into a state of stillness and so people ask me why 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 meditation why do i always talk about meditation and meditation is an important practice today i'm going to share four reasons why uh, maybe you should consider starting a meditation practice um, a lot of scientific research has already shown uh, benefits, medical benefits, and I know that everyone is not really interested in that. And so today I wanted to go beyond the scientific research and really get, you know, dive deep into four reasons. Not all of them, but the main ones that I want to share with you today. Reason number one, meditation is amazing for your relationships. And the reason is that when you meditate, when you practice meditation, you learn how to become present. How to become present. And this is an art, this is not easy. And when you become present, it's so much better when you're in a relationship. Let's say you're having sex, for example. When you're present, you're not gonna think about your shopping list or what you're gonna wear tomorrow or what it is that you're gonna say during your meeting. I mean, let's face it, it does happen. And when you're present, you can be, you can stay, even if, um, it's not necessarily what you think it should be. You can observe, you can stay aware, you can stay present. So when you have a practice of meditation, it teaches you that and, and if you're present, well, so being present in your relationship is huge. The other thing, the other benefit for the relationships when you practice meditation is that you start really knowing yourself because you get to spend time with yourself. You start knowing your worth. You start not needing anyone to make you feel good or better or you don't need anyone to validate you. You start having self-referral and what it means is that your value is not determined by what any other person thinks. And when you get to that stage, you can really, again, bring so much to the relationship because you do not put undue stress on your partner to make you happy, to make you feel good, to make you whatever it is that it is for any of us, right? So what happens is the relationship can be relaxed. You can just be and enjoy and exchange and share and receive or whatever, right? So two great benefits for a relationship. Reason number two, mental benefits of meditation. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot one thing. <laughs> so, um, when you meditate, you, you get to release stress, you get to relax, and 
one of the things that happens with stress is that you release cortisol and adrenaline and those two guys they decrease the sex drive and plus you have no energy <laughs> so you want to get rid of them right so reason number two mental benefits and I'm going to piggyback on what I just said. Cortisol, adrenaline, they're great. They're great when you need them. But what happens with our busy lives is that we do not know how to shut down that, that um, process. What happens is everything is stressful, so we keep staying in that loop of fight or flight response. And so your body really doesn't know how to release that and you're anxious and so many things happen in your body and your mental state, not good. You're stressed, you're anxious, you get panic attacks or whatever. So when you meditate, what happens is that you can slow down that loop of fight or flight response, you can relax you can you know just with breathing the breathing that happens with meditation you can access peace you can access release of whatever you know certain emotions you can access relaxation so reason number three your physical body can really benefit from a meditation oh look at this guy do you see that bird <laughs> i think i chased it i didn't mean it so um i was talking about the physical benefits of meditation when we get deep in the practice or even starting the practice of meditation there's something that happens we start to accept ourselves where we are and accepting ourselves doesn't mean that we settle it doesn't mean that we do not uh, want to improve it just means that at the moment this is where I am and I'm okay with that knowing that tomorrow I'm not gonna be the same person and I'm gonna keep doing whatever it is that I feel like I want to do many people uh, where I live anyway in the United States have uh, weight problems or they either want to get weight gain weight or muscles or um, they want to lose weight and when you meditate, what happens is that because you access that stillness, because you accept yourself, you can make better choices. Let's say you decide that you want to gain weight. And in order to gain weight, you have to maybe eat certain foods and you have to exercise a certain way you can have the resourceful state where every time you're going to eat you can stop and decide and choose what is good for you at that time so with meditation you can really access resourceful states where your physical body can benefit you can literally have the physical body that you want with a meditation practice and um, I wanted to mention something that is called the effective limiting limited dose which where before working out or exercising you meditate and you literally visualize yourself where you want to be how you want to be and you only need 10 minutes of exercise to see results when you add meditation to to your practice 
So last and not least, number four, benefit of starting a meditation practice is spiritual benefits. And by spiritual, I don't mean religious, I don't mean, um, I'm talking about you, 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 with you, with spirit, the divine source, energy, whatever you call it, your higher self. When you meditate, what happens is that you start really going within, you start hearing the voice of your heart. You start hearing what your higher self has to tell you. You start accessing your soul whispers. And what happens is you become more and more and more aligned with who you want to be, with who you were meant to be, with the purpose that you came here to accomplish and that is a benefit of meditation because when you know some people ask me oh I want to have intuition I want to I want to access my heart or whatever you cannot <laughs> if you're not silent how are you gonna hear you can't you have to be still your heart your heart is such a big part of that and you can't hear it if you're not listening <laughs> so um i hope that this helped you um if you want to hear more i i think i'm gonna be talking about meditation uh, many more times because so many people ask me to do videos about meditations and I think that pretty soon I will um, come up with a course or a class or something to help people start a meditation practice to help people access the magical powers that come with a meditation practice, the happiness, the joy, the peace, the centeredness, the groundedness, huge. So I wish you well, I wish you a beautiful day, I wish you love joy pure joy I love this place and I love you guys just giving you a last shot stay connected um, check the video description below you will find uh, ways to stay connected to me and if you have any questions about everything that I said just contact me I'll be happy to answer I love you guys bye hey look at this guy there's a bird here right there okay bye